win some games a healer or a support hero and a diablo hero let's see what we can do hi hello and welcome welcome back to another uncred video it's a diablo hero or support so it's gonna be karazim or deckard you know what i could go for a karazim game yeah sure as you can see by the way got my butcher to level 15 as well so now this juicy little boy right here also has a golden border around him based on the monk class in diablo he is all about healing but he is actually not all about healing at all. He's a very versatile hero. We can still deal out tons of damage if he wants to, depending on the build we are going. And I can either go my second build, which is focused heavily on his Breath of Heaven spell, his W or his second ability, which induces healing. Or I can go my first build, which is really focused on his dash, dash towards enemies. We have a Raynor, a Leeming, an Illidan, and a... Of 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 Orphia. Damn. Immediately can't help but notice. Oh, I was gonna say that I am a healer and they don't have one, but they have a Rhaegar who is kind of a healer bruiser type of deal. Probius, very squishy target. Murky, Biggie Smalls, life and in the flesh. You heard it here first. Biggie Smalls is actually still alive and he is playing Heroes of the Storm together with his homie Tupac Shakur. But you know what? I can feel it. I can feel it in my fingertips. It's they they are trembling with excitement. They know that this one, this video right here, my sixth Heroes of the Storm video, I think after my summer hiatus, that's gonna be the victory. This is gonna be the on-camera domination, destroying our enemies, just straight up a uh, victory. Something for the history books. And you know what? I'm playing a healer. I'm gonna play like a healer. I'm gonna go for a healer build. Our Radiant Tash is not gonna get much upgrades this build and Deadly Reach is just an ability that doesn't exist for me now. Our passive is called Insight, it basically makes our third auto attack a lot stronger all the time. And at level 1 we did pick up Insight, so an ability called Insight as well, which basically states that my third attack will regain me some mana and after doing it a whole bunch of times it will make my abilities come off cooldown faster. I would love if somebody would soak bot, I guess I can do it, but I am actually a healer, so it's only a probius, so I think I should be fine in like harassing, harassing him a bit. Just trying to stack up my quest, make sure we're not in there. What do you want to do, probius? You don't want to take this fight, my man, I can tell you that much. Probius is a really funny hero. I believe he can be very strong if played well, but I definitely don't know how to play him well, and I feel like a lot of people don't do that. Just harass him a bit. All I'm doing is stacking up my quest. How have you guys been doing? I just love asking that question, no? I love asking how you guys are doing, trying to interact with the viewers, even though they can't interact back, but it's just such a, a way that is so much more fun to talk about how, how I am actually doing compared to when I would just start with that. I hope you are, in fact, doing A-OK. -okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Rainer, I didn't see you coming in there. I wouldn't have gone as ham. Let me heal you a bit. I'm gonna quickly stack up a bunch more of my quest hits, and then I'm gonna head up. Solo laning is not that bad now that we still are getting that quest up. We're gonna go for Spirit Ally. We get an extra ability now where we can place down a little, well, a little puppet, if you will, that heals allies in the surrounding. So like this, Li Ming, if you stand in the radius, you will get healed. Let's make sure that we're not in too much trouble. Me, I've been doing absolutely amazing. Really had like an amazing past couple of days. Me and my girlfriend went on a fun, a uh, really, really, a very fun, an um, immaculately fun vacation together. Just somewhere in Belgium, so not extremely far or anything, but it doesn't always have to be extremely far to be really fun. Let me heal you. Come on, let's go. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Got that Keltuzad kill in there. How are we doing on the objective? Illidan and Murky are battling. Let's try and help them out. I hope that the rest of our team is coming in. Got a nice heal in there. I'm gonna harass Falstad out of here just a little bit. Li Ming, are you gonna be able to capture that? I'll try to get Probius off. Nice, we got it right. Hell yeah. All right, well played by me, if I do say so myself. I exerted some control over our opponents, or tried to do so at least. But yeah, we're still just in Belgium, so it wasn't too far. 
it was only an hour drive from where we live actually but it was in a nice airbnb tiny home kind of situation and we just had a whole lot of fun we visited some gardens we went on a nice little walk we visited the city we went on another nice little walk and the most fun part for sure i'm not going to talk about this too much by the way because i definitely want to make a bit of a video with a few footage i collected the most fun for sure was the times that we had near the abbey of maretsu quite a well-known abbey in belgium maybe not across the world they have their own beer they have their own sausage their own meats as well and what they're most famous for i think is their cheese they are really really famous for their cheese we didn't quite try their cheese because my girlfriend is allergic to cheese she is extremely lactose intolerant but we did try the sausages and the beer two, two days in a row and man oh man was that a pleasant experience Good job, Illidan. We literally had so much fun there the first day that we just went back the second day. The first day we literally just went there for a drink and a piece of sausage and it was already so much fun. But then the second day we even got into a nice and large and long walk. Almost six kilometers, so really like a, a decent length, but nothing to destroy your feet, you know. Just a pleasant, a pleasant walk. And we got to see a whole lot more of the area including another abbey that was nearby the abbey of uh maradret maradret don't know how you will pronounce it in english i don't even know how to pronounce it in dutch and it was something i never heard of before but it was a beautiful building as well and i am all all for that life of just exploring you know i'm not that much of an adventurous person except for when i try to clear out the jungle between your mom's legs to get in there but in general no i am more of a calm person that's why i really like the calm hikes the slow walk walks the enjoyable exploration hikes through flat nature not that many hills not that many mountains or well those are fine to walk across at least you won't see me doing much crazy shit like for example skydiving or something like that that is not for me at all oh oh there's the power of Keltuzat, right there. You can deal so much damage in a heartbeat all of a sudden. Just going for a walk, seeing what nature has to offer. Sheesh, Orfia, nice try. That's something I'm all for. And my girlfriend is as well, so we had a bunch of fun together. We were there from Saturday till Tuesday. We played a bunch of um, board games together, or well, card games. And we just had a blast laughing. We drank some nice drinks made some nice food the first day we made uh, wraps mexican style wraps burritos if you will the second day we made a pasta with a very simple creamy pesto sauce simple but effective really really tasty stuff come on little i believe in you hell yeah oh man I'm playing quite okay. Oh, wow, we are so far behind in XP. Holy god damn. But we have completed our quest. So now our third auto attack will always refund some cooldown. Or reduce the cooldown of our abilities rather. I should have stayed mid to soak. I'm just going straight back. Bit of a misplay. I hope Orphia stays stopped to soak. Because we need to catch up an XP stat. That has to be our first priority for now I think. You can't do that, Murky. You can't defeat me. Uh... <laughs> One of the days we were like, all right, this day we will really sleep in. We will just stay in bed because we don't have to get out of bed necessarily. And then at 7 in the morning, all of a sudden the fire alarm started beeping because the battery had run out. And we were like, God fucking damn it. <laughs> oh, oh, that was such a misplay. I tried to save our leaming. And now we are cursed. And I can already tell you, I don't know if this is gonna be a victory. Look at the experience soaking on our team. You you have to keep looking because it's non-existent. It's not there. Uh, oh, I'm begging you for mercy, Lord. Please. I mean, we're against a Probius. Normally, playing against a Probius should be almost like a free win. I just can't catch a break, you know? I keep being matched with these absolute buffoons. And well, when I'm playing a healer character myself, I am not capable of having an enormous impact on the game or anything i just need to trust the efficiency of my teammates and my teammates are not efficient at all their contribution to the game has been kind of non-existent please don't die leeming i beg you please don't die and with leeming i mean orphia of course leeming is over here come on we need to be able to kill this one guy thank you 
quickly pop my ult to negate his damage and then try and get some more action in there but the rest of my team is sleeping and of course our Raynor is also afk so that doesn't help he just left I had to go bake some cookies he told me in private chat which is of course a valiant cause to devote your time to right cookies have to be baked it's a great source of enjoyment a great source of fun for the world i mean i don't have to spell it out for you right this this game is over the curse continues six straight episodes of not being able to win on camera use my ult to negate the damage again heal up a bit with my abilities i just made them use like a whole bunch of shit come on we should be able to kill a murky at least thank you finally and still we're so far behind in experience points it's insane they always say in heroes of the storm that soaking so gathering xp in multiple lanes is what gets you out of bronze but i think that these people sadly still are in bronze small disclaimer i'm just being salty it's not like i played that well this game or anything i just wanted to win I, I felt it i felt it at the start you know it was within my grasp but in the end i was not able to conquer it so i'm just salty at myself and projecting it towards my teammates they're all beautiful people and i hope rainer's cookies were mm, delicious oh whatever man just just destroy the core just put an end to my misery where where is everyone where well what well, well, thank you so much for watching <laughs> I'm, I'm not okay. I'm not doing fine. Winning on camera in Heroes of Storm is an impossible feat. It's not feasible. It's not achievable by a mere mortal human. There I am, right there. Contribute to 36% of team's XP. That's one third of our XP and we are with five people. So that's, that's just not great. Can I at least get a loot box? Was I close to leveling? The universe probably doesn't. Oh man. Oh shit, that's not even close at all. <sighs> See you in the next one. I want to die. Bye-bye. <laughs>